Hello, eighth grade mathematicians, and welcome to virtual math class. Today, we are going to be learning about alternate interior and exterior angles. Yay! So, the objective for today is students will be able to identify alternate interior and exterior angles when there are parallel lines cut by a transversal. And we will go over what each of those words mean in just a minute. So first things first, if we have parallel lines cut by a transversal, so this is line L and this is line M. Those are parallel lines. The line that cuts through those lines, we'll say it's line N, the line that cuts through those, that is the transversal. So we have parallel lines that are cut in half basically by a transversal, which is just the line that is going through the parallel lines. And then interior, if we're talking about the interior, that would be the part that is inside of our parallel lines. So then if you were the word exterior, that would be the space outside of my parallel lines. So that would be on the top or on the bottom. So again, we have the exterior and the exterior. And then on the inside, inside of our parallel lines would be the interior. And that's gonna help us know um, our interior and exterior alternate, alternate angles. Okay, alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are two angles inside the parallel lines that are on opposite sides of the transversal line. So remember that the transversal line is the line that cuts through. So that's this line right here. So now interior, interior means that they're going to be inside. So if I look at angle three, angle three would be the alternate interior angle of angle three would be angle six because they need to be on opposite sides of the transversal line. So example one would be angle three and angle six. Those two lines would be alternate interior angles. There's one more example here. Tell me what it is. Okay, so now we have alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles have two angles outside the parallel lines that are on opposite sides of the transversal line. So again, that transversal line is the line that cuts our parallel lines in half. So if I have angle one, so I have angle one as one of the examples. What other angle would be an alternate exterior angle to angle one. So it needs to be opposite, so it needs to be exterior, so that automatically eliminates three, four, five, and six. So two, seven, or eight. So it needs to be on opposite sides of the transversal line. So seven would be on the same sides. And it needs to be exterior also. So two would not be the answer. It would be angle eight. So angle one and angle eight would be alternate exterior angles. There is one more example of alternate exterior angles. What example would that be? Okay, so we have our example, first example here. So we have that line GI and line JL are parallel lines. So that's this line here and this line here. And then we see our transversal line right here. So it's asking us what, which angles are alternate interior angles. So remember the interior means that we're going to be looking inside of our parallel lines, not outside. So all of our first answer on all of these would be LKH. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that line. So L, K, H is the first angle that we're looking at. So then I have L, K, H. So knowing what I know about alternate interior angles, I know that it has to be on the inside. And I know that it has to be the opposite side 
of my transversal line. And again, this is my transversal line. The only angle that would be on the opposite side would be angle G H K. So my answer would be L K H and G H K. So for it to be alternate at interior angles, why could my answer not be J K H? Because J K H is also on the opposite line, on the opposite side of the transversal line. So why can't it be that angle? So we have another example here. We have our parallel lines HJ and KM, and we have the transversal line right here, and it's asking us about alternate exterior angles. So remember the X here means I'm going to be looking on the outside. So I'm looking at this section here or this section here. And on my first option on all of them is angle M and L. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that angle. So M, L, N. So if I'm talking about exterior, it needs to be on the opposite side of my transversal line. And if I'm already down here, it needs to be the opposite space of where I'm at. So I'm going to be looking at the top instead of the bottom, and it needs to be on the opposite side of the transversal line. So on the opposite side, I would have angle H, I, G. So my answer is angle M, L, N, and angle H, I, G. So again, we have our parallel lines, M, O, and P, R, and we have our transversal line. And we're asked this time about alternate interior angle. So interior means I'm going to be looking at the inside. So I'm going to be looking at this section here. So on the first option on all of them is angle P, Q, N. So I highlight that line, P, Q, N. And so I need the, the, um, the angle that is on the opposite side of the transversal line and on the opposite, um, the opposite side interior of my um, parallel line. So my answer here is going to be angle Q N O or O N Q. So my answer is this option here because those two are opposite of each other and they're both on either side of the transversal. In our last example, we have our parallel lines B D and E G, and then we have our transversal that's cutting them in half. And then on this one, we are asked for alternate exterior angles. So Exterior means that I'm going to be looking at this part here and I'm looking at this part here. So I can ignore everything that is on the inside because I'm simply looking at the exterior angles. So the first angle is DCA on all of my options. So I'm highlighting that, um, that line. So I have angle D, C, A. So I need the angle that is on the opposite side of the transversal and on the opposite side. So I already have an angle that's on the top. So that means I'm gonna need one that's on the bottom exterior and it's on the opposite side of the transversal. So what option, what angle would be the alternate exterior angles? If you said angle DCA and angle E F H, you would be correct. Good job. And lastly, if you have any questions, please let me know and hang in there. I know that this is not easy, but you guys are doing great and just keep on keeping on. You've got this.